it's the first time I've seen a real a real star, I think, I believe, for a very, very long time, where just marketability around him has just been huge. We've had him here on the show, like he's so well spoken. It's this guy's handles is some of the best I've ever seen. They're on a different level. You know, the more and more kind of things come out about him as well, the more impressive it is. There's no carbon team. Rob doesn't play people 38 minutes. No. Very often. Yeah, Regina Kruno is the season MVP. It's hard to separate Gino from basketball. It's almost just part of who I am. Basketball, you know, and most sport in general, like boils down to people. People that you want to be around every day. Um, people that bring out the best in you. People that want the best for you. How to add value to people's lives. How to care about people. How to love on people. Um, as, you know, I, I don't know if I would be as good at any of those things without basketball. Closing in on 90 blocks oh on the season. Oh, no! Gino oh, Randall no! Making a miss! Oh, my! He just didn't do that, did he? He did. Every possession is so different. Every game is so different. Every quarter is so different. Uh, every season's different, so just whatever my team is needing out of me at any moment, I would say is, is kind of where I try and focus my efforts. Basketball is like a puzzle for me, you know, so figuring out creative solutions to, to solving the problems that are presented on the court. When I watch myself sometimes, that's what I'm the most impressed with. There might be an angle on a pass, and it doesn't look like it's there, and a lot of people might not be able to make it, or they might not know how to get the ball from point A to point B. And, you know, for me, when I find myself in those positions, it's kind of where the creativity takes over a little bit. I can do something else to try and get the ball to where I need it to be. If I had to sum it up, you know, in, in one word, the creative would be how I would describe my game. Fletcher goes again. Fletcher fighting his way through. It goes from Fletcher. With Fletcher, the game moves really slow for him. He sees everything, you know, before everybody else on the court sees it. It's seeing that guy that's just been so good for so long and he's got the respect of all the officials and the respect of all the other coaches and all the other players. And then with Liggins, I mean, obviously he had his time in the NBA and um, you, you can see it, I think, when you play against him. He's got, you know, the size, uh, he's got the skill, he can handle the ball, he can shoot the ball, he can finish at the rim, he can defend full court. Uh, he knows the game really well. He sees a lot of passes that a lot of people his size don't see every night. You look at his efficiency rating and index ratings, it's just off the charts because he does a little bit of everything. Uh, it's, it's been awesome being able to watch them play and compete against them. And then obviously other guys in the league have been doing well as well. Dirk Williams, um, I think he shoots at a really high percentage. And, you know, on their team, having those other guys, he doesn't get as many touches. So he's doing, you know, more with less in a sense. Hemsley at Sheffield is an amazing, amazing guard. A lot more attention has been placed on kind of the top three or four teams, so he, he hasn't gotten as much recognition, but every night he comes in and puts up numbers, plays hard on defense. Every team this year has had talent, and they've had guys that can go out and score. They've had guys that want to defend at a high level. It's been awesome. I think it's been a lot of fun to be a part of a league that's so invested and interested in growth, a league that's so invested in what's next. Yeah. Especially at the riders trying to be on the forefront of different things. Gino's been awesome to work with. Obviously, what you see on the court is awesome. Uh, his ability to uh, do so many things to impact the game. He's one of those players that does a little bit of everything. And I think that, you know, off the court, he's been a great leader with the guys. He's been wonderful to work with, and, uh, you know, we're lucky to have him. And uh, I think it's been disappointing in some ways that the fans haven't been able to, to see him in person and see how he plays and how he leads our team. It has been really fun and really cool to be one of those guys that are kind of leading the pack in terms of this is where we want to take this league.